You light the skies. What's up, my friends? I am back with another quick take on a less recent movie. This movie was released about 11 years ago. Last week, I finally watched Stardust. This is a fantasy epic film released in 2007, and it is directed by Matthew Vaughn. The story revolves around a fallen star in human form, played by Claire Danes, and it is actually three separate stories running in parallel. We've got three different people trying to find this star for different reasons. Charlie Cox's character wants to give the star to the woman he loves in exchange for her hand in marriage. Michelle Pfeiffer's character, she is the evil witch. She wants to regain her youth. She wants to be young again and the only way she can do that is by devouring the heart of that fallen star. And finally, we have Septimus, a prince played by Mark Strong. He needs to find the star in order to ascend the throne and become king. There is a lot to love about Stardust. This is a very imaginative world and it comes from Neil Gaiman's books. If you ever read a Neil Gaiman book, you know that this guy is a creative writer and it really shows in the story structure, the landscape of this movie, the visuals, they're all very beautiful. The characters are all very interesting as well. This is a very star-studded film. We've got Charlie Cox, we've got Sienna Miller, we've got Claire Danes, Robert De Niro, Henry Cavill, Peter O'Toole, Mark Strong, David Williams. The list goes on. The rest of the cast is brilliant as well, but I think the main star of this movie is Matthew Vaughn, the director. If you don't know who Matthew Vaughn is, he went on to direct films such as Kick-Ass, X-Men First Class, and the Kingsman films. So this guy really knows how to adapt a book to the big screen. Stardust was only Matthew Vaughn's second directorial effort, and he proved in Stardust that he could competently direct a big mainstream Hollywood movie and you could juggle these multiple storylines and make them all seem like they were cohesive and in one movie he manages to keep the pacing solid I was never bored and he also manages to achieve that sort of subversive tongue-in-cheek sort of vibe out the movie it reminded me a bit of the Princess Bride actually the music in this movie really hits home that fairy tale sort of feeling but the visual effects I felt are were a bit dated for this day and age I felt like the final act as well had a few cliches that sort of ruined the ending for me but overall I really enjoyed myself. I think Stardust is a perfectly enjoyable movie for people of all ages. If you're looking for something serious and epic like Lord of the Rings then this is not the movie for you but if you want to see something very heartwarming, something very light, something very humorous and you know a lot of bright colors that pop and make it seem like a real fairy tale out of a storybook then Stardust is the movie for you for sure. I am going to give Stardust a 7.5 out of 10. Guys, thank you so much for watching this quick take. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button below and tell me, what is your favorite fantasy film of all time? Is it A Princess Bride? Is it Stardust? Is it something else like maybe Lord of the Rings? I'd love to know. I will have a new movie review for you next week, so watch this space closely. In the meantime, have a great week ahead. Please take care. Maximum hype. And until next time, peace out.